Here the Geo Metro here. This video is about um, how to silent your trunk the easy and cheap way. Well, you know, having a spare tire in the trunk and a lot of vibration and clattering noises. You might notice from this tape here is actually a crack in the floor. I think there's a chance this car has been in an accident because it just looks pretty banged up back here. Or who knows. Well, this car has been through a lot of torture, so... Um, this is the uh, original rubber flooring from the factory. You can see it's decomposing over the years. So, um, I'm going to show you how to um, cut it out. A piece of foam. I'll be back when I'm going to show you. All right, then this here is the uh, piece of foam. As you can tell, it's worn out because I've been using it lately. You can get these at packaging stores like UPS or something like that. I got this in a package. I just had these laying around. But I, I don't know if this is true that possibly they have these at FedEx or something like that. These foam. I could be wrong, but I just had these laying around the house because they came in a package. So what you do, you just try to, you have to lay it out where you want it. You gotta poke the hole. And then you um, open it wide for you can have a view and you line it up like that. And that can actually keep your sound down. So I'll put the spare tire and stuff in. So I'll be back in a second. All right, then I'm back again. I got the uh, spare tire in. Uh, you see it lines up. I'm going to take this thing here. This um, silver part here is for the original tire iron. I tried fitting those in, but they don't quite fit. They're kind of a little too long. It's kind of hard to see. Get this metal plate in the way. But the only way to hold it down, you just screw it on down like this. So until I'm done, I'm going to have everything in it. Already then, back again. I got a spare tire iron. Got my tire iron. So that's going to, that's how you put, make your car silent. So um, I'm going to put this thing in the trunk. It just lays on top of it. it slides right into place. So, uh, yeah. This thing here is for my stuff to help strap it down. Put it up there. And that's only that. This is another map to keep your sound down too. My stuff's up bouncing. Just flattered it out. It's in. And I also put in my uh, other carpet. So usually you just use the other carpet for like the mat for a template and I cut out a cardboard box and I just laid a towel over it. Because I know it's kind of hard to find a original trunk carpet for a Metro. It's really hard to find parts for these cars. But these cars came out in the 1990s and 80s. So it's kind of a little hard to find parts for these things. That's all my stuff. It's a jack that came out of a 2002 Dodge Dakota Crew Cab in the junkyard. This just came with the car. I didn't got it. It just came with the car when I got it, so works fine. Um, the roll of towels is actually meant for the uh, covering the windows. Like I can't find one, like the tin foil thing that will go in your window. I think it's gonna be kind of hard to find those, so let me get everything in it. So you guys, turn them back again. I still got more to do. It's starting to get dark out, and the lights on. And just for you guys to know that the black car is not there. It's right there. Moved it there. 